Today on WFMS. We have a few updates as we hit midweek. Our forensics club will not be meeting today because of early release day. Those interested in Pokemon Club need to listen up. We have a short weather brief for you today. We have a message from our cheerleaders for you. Biscuits, anyone? The board and chess club will not meet today because of early release. We have an important announcement for those interested in playing basketball this year. And WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Tanan. And I'm Gabriel. Welcome to your home for news, announcements, and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. Attention Pokemon fans. The Pokemon Club will be starting after school every other Monday on September 26th in Maroon Pod Room 172. Interested students should stop by Mrs. Schwartz's room in Maroon Pod next week to pick up an information sheet. Students will need to bring back this sheet with a parent signature to the first meeting on the 26th. If you are a 6th grader who enjoys reading books of different genres and who likes discussing what you read, the 6th grade after school book club may be for you. This club meets every other month beginning in October. Additional details about the after school book club may be found in the Canvas course FMS Student Resources. You may learn, learn more and sign up for this club by clicking on the club information link. These sign up links will remain un open until all spots are filled. Due to early dismissal today, the Forensics Club will not be meeting after school. We will resume meetings next Wednesday. Please make sure that you bring your signed permission slips. See you there. That's it for announcements. Now for a Wednesday weather brief. Hi, I'm Gracie. And I'm Hadley. Now for our weather update. The heat and hum humidity has been increasing for most of the week, but a cold front arrives by late week bringing a little bit of rain, but a big drop of temperatures. Looking ahead, we are mostly sunny today with highs in the mid-90s. That humidity will once again make it feel a few degrees warmer. You'll want to drink plenty of water and take breaks in the shade if you're outside, at practices or games especially. On Thursday, we begin seeing a cold front begin to slowly move in. As of now, we will hit 84 degrees with spotty rain and storms later Thursday. We will also be breezier with gusts of wind at 20 miles an hour. While the rain totals this week won't be impressive, at least the heat takes a hit. We'll fall back, pun intended, with the official start of fall late Thursday to highs in the upper 70s Friday and low 80s this weekend. If you're hoping for rain, as of now, we're seeing a 60% coverage Sunday night. That's it for our midweek weather. Stay tuned for another update on Friday. Now for an important sports update. Hi, I'm Blair. And I'm EC. Now for a quick sports update. To all the admirals, we are ex so excited to tell you that the cheerleaders will be selling Chick-fil-A biscuits again tomorrow morning in the studio theater. They will be serving between 8 and 8.30. Please plan to help th support the FMS cheerleaders and come eat with them and your friends. Biscuits will be $5 and water is included. This is cash only. Hope to see you there. We have some great softball news for you this morning. The FMS Lady Admiral softball team defeated Carnes in their first tournament game on Monday night with Hudson Bradford having a stellar night on the mound. Taylor Woody closed out at the top of the third inning with a double play at first and the Lady Ads went on to earn six runs in a two-out rally at the bottom of the inning. Deja Means turned a double play in the top of the fourth and the Ads finished the game defeating the Lady Beavers 10-0. Their next game will be tomorrow night at Grace Christian Academy, where they will take on the Clinton Lady Dragons at 6 p.m. 
We also have a little bit of soccer news for you today. Last night, the Lady Admirals A soccer team brought home a decisive win 4-1 against Harden Valley. Our A soccer team will have their next game tonight at 6-15 against West Valley at the Farragut High School field. We hope to see you there cheering, on, cheering our Lady Admirals on to another victory. All guys and girls who are interested in playing basketball for Farragut this year, we have some important information for you. The boys and girls shots will begin next Monday, September 26th, and go through Wednesday, September 28th. Tryout dates are and times are, are as follows. On Monday, September 26th, 6th through 7th grade boys will try out from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. 6th through 8th grade girls will try out from 5 o'clock to 6.30. On Tuesday, September 27th, 6th through 8th girl, grade girls will try out from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. 8th grade boys will try out from 5 o'clock to 6.30. On Wednesday, September 28th, 6th to 8th grade girls will try out from 3.30 to 5. 6th to 8th grade boys will try out from 5 to 6.30. All students wishing to try out must bring a completed form to Coach Mack in the gym or Coach Allen in Blue Bee Room, 154, no later than Thursday, September 22nd. Try out packets are in the front office for anyone interested in trying out. That's it for sports. Now back to the news desk. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.